So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Any pointers on it? I've saw that before, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that. Pretty pretty wild. Well, so how, if they're 400 pounds, why can't they be a nine? Ooh. That's uh, my thought. Yeah. I was not for nothing. Pounds? A lot of the bigger Just girls chubby are... chubby lovers out there. Their face are... Their face chubby card... Chubby lovers. Don't, don't, Lizzo. don't decline. That's a good question. What, why do you think that they can't be a nine? Well, do you think that they can be a nine? Yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. Just because just because you four hundred pounds, I don't got nothing to do with your face card. Would you say um, a nine is one point away from being perfect? Nobody's perfect. Okay, so but a just nine because is they're four hundred pounds, don't discredit nothing. Mm-hmm. Who rates the woman's beauty, the man or the woman, in society? <clears throat> I mean, we get off how we feel about ourselves. Yeah. So you give in what you putting out. So if I if I feel like I'm a nine. You're going to feel me mm-hmm. like I'm a nine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know okay. what I mean? Like, I think so, I'm this in my pictures and my this. You're going to yeah. feel me as this. You're going to feel it. And okay. you're going to reciprocate that. So you know I what could, I mean? Like, I could I feel that I'm a billionaire. Facts. You're going to reciprocate that? Facts, bitches that might really think you're a billionaire. <laughs> I don't think you're going to think I'm a billionaire when I pull up in the Honda Civic. <laughs> Old when I pull you. up in the Honda There's Civic. Billionaires and in I'm Honda like, Civic. baby, <laughs> I'm a billionaire. <laughs> And uh, I want this aura of me thinking I'm a billionaire. I well, want that's that. That's different. Thing. That's 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 actually object. That's money. Yeah. That's object. Yeah. How I feel about myself and my confidence. Yeah. That's that's coming from me. That's not coming from you know what okay. I mean. Okay. I really feel like so. there's sorry. I really feel like there's somebody for everybody. I feel like Fact. this guy might like this type of girl. This this guy might like this type of girl. So there's somebody for everybody. And I feel like social media really like kind of makes it seem like it always switches. Oh, it's the girl, the skinny girls. Oh, it's the girls with the fat asses. It changes all the time. Depending upon social media, but guys are still gonna like what they're gonna like. So I feel like there's somebody for everybody. What you got? You got some, Francis? Oh, I just saw a spider on her head. <laughs> oh, oh and her spider where? Wait, head? It crawled off. It crawled off her you ankle. It was, it, was her ankle. ankle. it was on her ankle. It was on her. It was underneath the couch. I'm sorry. Is it still there? No, it went away. Yeah. I was trying not to talk. We could kill it. I'll kill it. I'll kill the spider. I'll kill it. I'll kill the spider. I'll kill it. I killed it. Oh killed. my gosh. Okay. Was I, saved, it big? I saved all of you. Lives. I was about to be like, I am terrified. Oh, mm. um, I think we were talking about a woman that's 400 pounds, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> all right, right. cool. Yeah. Let's keep going. So um, I think you, you brought it up. You said that a woman that's 400 pounds, um, why can't she be a nine? So question for you, right? Mm. Um, the woman that's, so do you think that like truthfully, mm-hmm. we went through the how you feel, right? So we all could feel, and I gave the example, I could feel like I'm a billionaire, but I'm really not a billionaire. Right. And then you said, well, that's not the same as like beauty, right. right? But my argument is that it is the same as beauty. It's the same as anything, right? Because it's based off feelings. So feelings aren't necessarily, uh, you can't calculate feelings, mm-hmm. right? It's the only thing that we can't calculate. Feelings is what we have in, internally and it's good for us. You know what I'm saying? Feelings is good for us, but for the world, the world doesn't owe us understanding, so no one really cares about your feelings. Besides your mom, your dad, and your loved ones, and people that you have good interaction with, friends and stuff like that. Other than that, no one cares about no one's feelings. So there's something that's called the sexual dating marketplace, right? So everyone is in competition with everyone, even if we don't know it, right? Besides you, all three of you ladies are in competition with one another. You know what I'm saying? You may not think it, but in actuality, you are. If Top G walks in, a handsome guy, and all three of y'all attracted to him, well, a competition. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, who is he going to choose? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or he can even be a guy on social media. Let's say the simp, or not even a simp, a good-looking guy hopped in all of you ladies' DMs, right? And, okay, well, competition. None of you ladies don't even know each other. But it could be competitional. Who could lock down this att- very attractive guy? Can I add something to that? Sure. If you're confident enough, I don't need to be confident to compete. I'm not going to compete with anybody else. If somebody's going to come to me, they're going to come to me because they're attracted to me. I'm not about to be competing with Yeah, them. it's not like you're um, like directly um, competing with someone else. It's all indirectly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. all indirectly competition. It's not like you... Like consciously, it's like you're competing. Yeah, okay, yeah, you. yeah. Gotcha. It's an all in a... It's not even in your hind mind or forefront of mind, just in the reality of it. Innately. Yeah, yeah that mm-hmm. we all are competing. So in regards to the 400-pound woman, right, the reason why a 400-pound woman can never be a nine is because 
there are true nines. But what's a nine? Yeah, you just let's, said, let's bring up what is a nine. nine could be different to everybody. It's like the point I brought there up. A nine be, could be different to everybody. Yeah, there might be a guy that likes the lumps and the and the yeah. humps. Like, you don't know that. They don't want to be smashing bones. They want to smash some they stuff. Smash some, some cushions. Some cushions. Like Tim <laughs> from uh, my six, what's Tim? Oh, a thousand pounds. Big Tim? Sister. Yeah. A, a thousand pounds sister. That's her favorite show. I that's love that show. Oh, that's why you said it. <laughs> I love that show. There it goes. I'm holding the it truth to comes out. It. Yeah. The truth comes out. So mm -hmm. you are sticking up for the beast because. Uh, the wildebeest out there. That's just oh, disrespectful. And, uh, That's because disrespectful. all of you ladies, because That's you watch the whole, uh, what is it called? My Thousand Pound Life. My Thousand Pound Life. Thousand Pound Sister. 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 It's like if they equivalent to a yeah, thousand. Two of them. Yeah. Okay. And they love themselves. They mm -hmm. got a, they got a YouTube and everything. Mm -hmm. They making yeah, money. I so does it really she matter? She be getting guys. So here's what I want to say. <laughs> It gets guys. <laughs> so here's what I wanted to say about the whole a 400 pound woman can't be a nine, right? Because we got two things we go off of. We have feelings and then it's reality. Feelings is only your reality in your head, but then there's actually reality out there in the world. And a 400 pound woman, if any man, any man had a choice, I mean, any man, if he had the choice for a girl that's 400 pounds and overweight and obese, or he could get a girl that's 130 pounds, he would choose the girl that's 130 pounds. Or let's say even 150 pounds, he would choose that woman. The reason why is you think, and all you ladies think, that, oh, well, there are guys will choose that, that type of woman. Think about it, ladies. We were all, we y'all all went into your messages. There's simps out there. These niggas, the same nigga that's saying stuff to her, if the guy has that simpish mindset, those are the same guys that's gonna say stuff to you, you and you, and the same nigga that's gonna say something to a 400 pound chick. If that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So those are lower value guys that most women don't even want anyway. So those guys will take anything because they don't have options. When a man has options, he will never choose a girl that's 400 pounds. A man without any options, he will choose a girl that's 400 pounds because men have testosterone and niggas wanna bust a nut. Niggas don't wanna beat off the rest of their life. that's not even true though because this could be, this could be somebody they've been with forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it just so happened. There's plenty of relationships like, damn, like we gained this much weight. Mm -hmm. We gained that. No matter what, I've been rocking with you. The mm -hmm. fuck? Like, you know I what that. I mean? They know what, just, they you're 200 before. pounds yeah. now? Okay, I loved you when you was 130. Mm -hmm. yeah, so what different. does that mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, you was my only option, my only choice. Okay, and I picked you and now you're this. I'm, I'm rocking with mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So that don't, that don't just because... You say they're 400 pounds. They might not have been 400 pounds a year ago when I met you. Right. Especially yeah. when, yeah, that's, like... But that's, that's different. different. That's still, you're moving the goalposts from, I'm talking about in the beginning Hitting stages them. of when you actually are meeting someone. But that's also like, okay, so I'm 400 right. pound man and these are my... No, like, what does that mean? Like that, I'm, I, I weigh this much, okay, but yeah. I love her regardless. No matter what, I feel like you're automatically going to be attracted to somebody that can understand you in a certain way. Okay. Like I'm this, well, you're this too. Like, do you think men you know are what visual I mean? creatures like, or no? What is it? Do you think visual. men are visual creatures? Mm -mm. Visual? Yeah. Visual creatures. You're saying, you're saying no, no. you don't think men like are attracted visual creatures? It's all about imagination sight? with men. All about imagination with okay, men. Okay. So, so. If um, you keep yourself, um, how do I say this? Okay. So it's like, yeah, I got told her brother, so I've always been told. All right, so if you go on a date, right? Yeah. You could wear something, like, sexy, but classy. Keep keep it all to the imagination, because that's going to make that man want you more. It's all about imagination. You got to okay. make his mind wander. You got to let it build up. All right, so, ladies, uh, come on, let's live in reality. All of you ladies just read sent messages, and these are guys that you've never met in person, I don't mm -hmm. think, and they just going off of what you look like. So guys are visual creatures. That's the facts, right? That's the facts. We are visual creatures. Looking at a female, we could get an erection. Very, the porn industry and OnlyFans industry is all visual. You can show a shoulder and a man will get an erection. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> what I was saying to her, men are visual creatures naturally, right? So since a man is a visual creature, just that's who we are by nature. We look at beauty. Mm -hmm. We don't care. Like we don't prioritize personality. We don't prioritize your income. We mm -hmm. don't prioritize, you know, uh, 
your hobbies and stuff like that. We don't prioritize that when we are courting a woman because it's the beginning process. Mm -hmm. We got to start from the beginning and then, you know, work our way to the end. What you were saying as far as a guy in a relationship and his woman gains some weight, maybe she has a baby, something like that. You know, of course, that's different. That's an exception to the rule. Not even an exception to the rule. That's just a whole different scenario of a guy that already uh, is like in love with a woman or already has feelings with a woman. So, of course, he's going to tolerate some inadequacies of her or if she gained a, a few extra pounds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He still would hope and expect for her to lose that weight, though. Trust me, he just doesn't have the courage to say, baby, get in the gym. The reason why I had y'all do that exercise was for truly one reason. So the woman can see, you ladies can see, that you're not that special. Because the same thing a nigga's doing to Brandy is the same nigga's doing to Francis, same thing nigga's doing to Savannah, and the same thing nigga's doing to Dana. So what I'm saying is that men were visual creatures. Niggas would slap, niggas would do a message in a notes, copy that, and send it to 20 girls. What? That's, That's what niggas do. That's what they do. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's a numbers game. So let me give you the uh, just an overall experience, a synapses of how it works in human life. Women, by the grace of God, you're born with your sexual value. You were put on this planet and, you know, it's, you could, you're beautiful to someone. <laughs> Even if you're 400 pounds is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're born with your sexual value, meaning that you don't have to assert yourself out there in the world. You'll still have a guy that finds you attractive somewhere in the world, right? Cool. So men, it isn't like that. We are born with an empty slate. We are born with no sexual value from the opposite sex. We have to earn our sexual value and work on it. And we do it in a multitude of ways because the thing is that men are simple creatures. To the opposite sex, we only are attracted to, you know, like one or two, three things, you know, fit, feminine, and beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that gets you in the door. Women is much different. You could be six foot 10, you could have a million dollars, but if your breath stink, no, you're going to disqualify him. You could, he could be very attractive, but if he says the wrong thing, like in your DMs, just, we all, y'all all confirmed it. Mm -hmm. Even if the guy was very attractive, but he still sent the sent message, you would disqualify him. So that means that women prioritize other things than a man. You prioritize his charisma, his, uh, 